when you're out there at amazing locations, roaming around with friends and family, creating those beautiful memories, or you are just trying to take videos for your social media content. It's really tempting to take out your phone and start shooting everything you see. Now, of course, you've got the video, but is it good? This video is for everyone who's trying to create video with their phones. Food, travel, reels, fashion, lifestyle, doesn't matter what kind of video you want to create. Knowing the basics of video creation is going to take your content to the next level. So stick to the end and you'll get to know 5 video tips through which you will be able to shoot much better video with your phone. Here I am at the very famous location in Mumbai, Gateway of India. Now let's try to shoot some videos of this place. While shooting the video, I was moving my phone in any direction to capture this place. Basically I was just trying to capture everything with just similar kind of movements which is pan and tilt. And I was not focusing on any kind of composition as such. So let's look at the video which I got and then we'll show you how you can improve this. As you can see, this final video doesn't look good at all. It has a lot of zitters, no composition as such, and it's not creating that impact. So the first thing is, observe your surroundings. Don't just shoot video from the same spot. Go around, look for other compositions, and don't just hover around with your phone. Take good single static shot instead and try to shoot while keeping editing in mind as well that how you are going to edit and how many shots you need for that final video. So here I imagine the shots keeping the editing in mind and I broke down the video into multiple shots. So this is the final video that we created after shooting second time. This is the difference it makes when you film with edit in mind. All these shots are shot with the same phone with same auto settings. So always break your video into multiple single shots and then try to create a story from it. Take the example of this static shot. Here we have an empty table and look closely how the brightness of the video changes as I keep this object here. When there's nothing on the table, the light is exposing the table properly. But once it sees the white object in the frame, then it tries to adjust the light according to that subject. To avoid this, long press on the subject you want to focus. Now simply drag the slider to adjust the light you want. And then start recording. Here you can see this video looks much better as there's no jump in exposure like earlier one. As you can see in this before and after, there's a massive difference. Now apart from static shot like this, you can also do this for some shots with movement like this one. In this shot, I lock the exposure like previous one and that's the reason you're not able to see any kind of brightness changes. And this is when I didn't lock the exposure, you can see how brightness changes as the movement is happening. So always keep this in mind while shooting, that you have to control your light and it shouldn't flicker. When you are making a video, everything you put in a frame says something. Although there are a lot of ways through which you can apply framing in your shot, but the most common and effective one is rule of thirds. Your phone camera also use this grid line. You just have to turn on from your settings. Here the frame is divided into 9 equal blocks with 4 intersecting points. Placing your subject on one of these points create much more dynamic communication with the viewer. 
take a look at this example the shot is not framed properly even though objects are not placed in a balanced way we just made few changes in placing the object and define the camera angle properly to create this second shot you must have noticed in films there are multiple cameras shooting the same scene at the same time it helps the viewers to engage more and takes the viewer into the story let's try to show this small scene in the first attempt we'll try this with just one angle and in the later attempt we'll try this with shooting multiple angles of the same action here is when the scene is shot with just one angle It's okayish but it doesn't have that impact and feel to it. Now this is our second attempt where we shot this same scene with multiple angles. And you can clearly see the impact of the second attempt. is way better than the first one because you were able to focus on smaller detail as well nobody wants to look at the video which is shaking a lot it looks really bad viewers are not able to focus on anything in a video so always try to keep your video stable the mid range and budget smartphones don't have that good in body stabilization which you can rely on so always try to use tripod or some kind of stability You don't need an expensive one like Manfred or something. For phones you can find many cheaper options online. Even if you don't have a tripod, try to use some object where you can place your phone so that you can record the stable video. Also these kind of handheld movement can easily be removed in editing. I have already made one video on how you can stabilize your footage inside Premiere Pro. So after this you may want to check that out as well. It will really help you to stabilize your video. So that's all in this video and basically uh, it was not possible for me to cover each and every aspect of uh, video shooting through a mobile in a single video so definitely I might be covering up such topics or a few more topics in future related to this so if you have loved this video do make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos till then keep creating and enjoy the process